All right, recap here. Um, we put in this diagonal. We found the length of that diagonal after finding C using the law of cosines. Then we found this angle, this op acute angle inside of angle B using the law of sines. We stored that in the calculator as D. Now we're going to find, very, very simply, angle down below it. Um, so if that's 90 degrees, both of these are complementary, going to add up to 90. So we just take 90 away from this, or D away, away from 90 in the calculator. When we're done, we'll store that thing as E. All right. So just 90 minus my D. Hit enter. And then store this angle measurement as E. Don't write the thing down. Just store it. In the calculator as E. Now notice that I haven't found a single one of these lengths yet, uh, but I'm, I'm about to find one of them. I'm about to find AD. I'll call that one F. It's the next letter here and it's directly across from angle E which I just found stored in the calculator. And the angle measurement for A is directly across from this side B, that diagonal that I found, so I can use the law of sines yet again. Uh, so this time I'm looking for a side, side F, it goes on top over the sine of E equals, I had a sine on top, so B over the sine of A, the angle it's across from. This time I'm just going to multiply the sine of E up to the top. Okay, so pull up the B times the sine of E. Close those parentheses divided by the sine of A. When I get this number, this is the number I want. I don't have to take the inverse sine of this. This is actually the side for F. Let's go ahead and store that in the calculator before I move on here. Store it as alpha F. Okay, and this is also a number that I want to write down, and it is length A. 38813. 38813. Okay. Now, notice I have this side length. I have 169.96. Those are two sides of this right triangle. And I can find AC by using the Pythagorean theorem. Straightforward Pythagorean theorem. Just add up the squares of the two sides and then take the square root. So pulling out my calculator. I can just square the number I already have in the calculator, that's f squared, plus the 169.96, square that, and then take the square root. What? No, I wanted to take the square root, second square root of the second answer. There we go. So that's the next one we want to write down. That's length AC. It's 423.71. 423.71. Let's go ahead and store that in the calculator as a G. So store alpha G. Okay, one last piece to get, and this that's the one AB on this side. Now we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem one more time because I know this 363.36, I'm trying to find this leg, and I know the hypotenuse, which is G, which I just found is in my calculator. This time I'm going to subtract using the Pythagorean theorem. So I'm going to square the number that's already there, minus the calculator, 363.36, square that, and then take the square root of that. And there's the last number, 217.95, 217.95. And that concludes question number three and how to do it. It looks like a mess. There's a lot of work, but with practice, you should be able to do that in no time flat.